Yep, three days in, we're still talking about Tesla's battery day, but that's because there's so much to unpack, there's so much to speculate and think about, and a lot of things they announced, yet at the same time weren't entirely specific about. So, one question that I'm seeing brought up a lot that I thought would be a fun video is talking about which vehicle is actually getting these new battery cells first. You know, these godsend battery cells that are going to increase the range of Tesla's vehicles by 54%, lower the dollar per kilowatt hour by 56%, and lower Tesla's Tesla's investment per gigawatt hour by 69%, which is nice. Which car gets it first? I know at first glance we may think, well, like Elon said in his tweet, these new cells are not going to be replacing anything that they're currently buying from their suppliers in Shanghai or in Fremont with their Panasonic factory at Giga Nevada. They're not lowering the amount of batteries they need from each of these factories. If anything, they're going to continue to increase them, but obviously these 4680 cells seem way, way better than everyone else else, so who gets first dibs? They didn't lay out much of a timeline. They didn't want to get into much of the nitty-gritty details other than saying, well, you know, end of 2021, you should be getting the Plaid Model S, but also at end of 2021, we're expecting the Cybertruck, which I think given the pricing and the range promised with that pickup, it pretty much has to get the 4680 cells, so if anything, the Plaid Model S and the Cybertruck should be launching pretty close together. Same with the Tesla Semi, which should be coming out next year as well, and likely near the end of 2021, so is the Roadster getting it first? Is the Plaid Model S getting it first? Well, it's important to align a few things Tesla and Elon himself has promised, and in my opinion, as weird as it sounds, I actually think the Made in Germany Model Y will get the sales before everybody else, and that's partially because the factory is going up at an astounding rate. Construction is in full force, and they're getting approvals for a certain amount of water consumption, and they talked about the amount of water needed to produce batteries like this at Battery Day. Day, and the city has approved Tesla to be able to build their own cells at the Giga Berlin location. Elon has said multitudes of times that you don't want to just look at the Fremont made Model Y. You want to stay tuned and look at some of the interesting stuff that is being implemented with the made in Germany Model Y. In my opinion, he was more than likely referencing not just the rear underbody casting press, but also the front casting press. And alongside that, the battery pack being now structural to the vehicle, which was a big point that saves on weight, it means there's far fewer parts, like 370 fewer parts, by making the battery pack structural to the Model Y, and the demos and models they showcased on stage were directly showing how it works with the Tesla Model Y. And since we haven't heard of any other partnerships or any other suppliers that Tesla could be working with at Giga Berlin, and it's on schedule to be operational in summer of 2021, I think that means the first Tesla vehicles that you'll actually be capable of buying and, you know, driving around will be that made in Germany Model Y, which every day it sounds like that Tesla gets better and better of a deal. For one, we're forgetting about the new paint shop, so it should have next generation paint and quality control, and at the same time it's now going to be getting these next generation batteries that should allow for either Tesla to provide far better range for the German made Model Y than what we can get in the United States using the 2170 cells, or it's going to have much better pricing for equal amount of range, which in my opinion is probably a bit more likely because in Europe the best-selling EVs are typically not the ones that just have the best range possible. It's typically the best value. It's the ones that can be priced fairly low and still go a decent range. So I'm predicting that the 4680 cells that they're going to use in the Model Y will result in a overall smaller battery pack. So they're not going to go, you know, 480 miles. Like if you just applied this 54% range increase on the current Model Y, yeah, you would be well over the 400 mile range mark. But Tesla did say that these types of numbers would take a few years to actually hit, so my guess is they're going to provide similar range to what we see in the U.S., but the profit margins on that Made in Germany Model Y are going to be super duper healthy, and if they feel like the competition is getting too cheap or undercutting them too much, they'll be able to comfortably lower the price of the Made in Germany Model Y to be more competitive. This is the only solution that makes sense to me, given Tesla did not announce that they ever plan on making their own version of 2170 cells, and Europe has already showcased with several automakers there that they're kind of constrained on battery supply. There's been several European automakers that were gonna make a certain amount of EVs, but the suppliers they chose were short on battery production. So if what I'm hearing is correct, it doesn't sound like Giga Berlin is going to be partnering with some other company to provide batteries. No, they're gonna be building the cells right there. There's a whole building on the Giga Berlin plant that's apparently just dedicated for cell production. And my guess is they're planning on building these next generation cells and implementing them into the Model Y, which we could 
should start seeing in summer of 2021, which is a little bit early considering Elon's tweet talking about how, you know, we're not rolling out these new cells immediately. It's going to take a little while before you see them being scaled at any type of serious production rate. But in my opinion, it's probably in Elon and Tesla's best interest to give kind of a far off date. That way they don't prevent current day sales from tanking, because if you told everyone that these 4680 cells were going into every Tesla vehicle in 2021, I think that would severely impact demand and people would be like, oh shoot, well don't buy a Model 3 or Model Y right now. You just got to wait till next year. That's when they're going to get all these price improvements and range improvements. Truth is, I think that in America at least, and probably China as well, you shouldn't expect to see the 4680 sales being implemented in the Model 3 or Model Y anytime soon. I think they're going to continue to rely on Panasonic and LG Chem and CATL over in China for producing the batteries of the current production vehicles. But the truth is they're not planning on shipping over any Model Ys from the United States to Europe, which means that if anyone wants to buy a Model Y in the European market, you're pretty much only going to be getting it from Giga Berlin, and that means there's no real Osborne effect there. I said it. There's no real Osborne effect to worry about in Europe because there's only one type of Model Y to get over there. So it's not like people can get a Model Y right now from the US. They can't. If they want a Model 3 S or X, they have to get it from the United States and made in Germany. Model Y is going to be the only Model Y for that continent, at least for the foreseeable future. So they don't really have much Osborne to worry about there. There will only be with 4680 cells Model Y available in just that continent and you won't be able to get it in the United States. So they don't have to worry about Model Y sales really flatlining here unless someone gets really creative with importing vehicles overseas. But my prediction is that the Model Y over there is getting these sales first and when it comes to the United States, yeah, sure, probably Plaid Model S or Cybertruck will be getting these sales originally and Giga Texas will more than likely be producing, you know, the 200 gigawatt hours a year and that will be mostly going towards Cybertruck and Tesla semi-production primarily and then maybe in time once they start building the Model 3 and Model Y at Giga Texas that's when they could start implementing the 4680 cells into those sedans and the United States could start seeing those extra range benefits and lower cost vehicles maybe the Model 3 can actually start at 35k with autopilot included and all that but I imagine it's not a top priority for the Texas factory right now which did just get its first concrete poured so Tesla is moving fast at that location with rebar and concrete going in now so that means that the first dry-in coming in at the end of this year seems somewhat possible but a lot of today's video is speculation so if there's points I'm missing please feel free to correct me let me know thank you all for watching and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day take care